YouTube. So, I decided to start my vlog about my volunteer project early. Can you guys even hear me? And I'm going to start with the preparations that are involved with me going there. And as a first step, uh, today I'm getting my last vaccination. So you guys are invited to join. Hooray! I've actually never done a blog blog before, so hopefully this will not be too crazy and boring for you guys. I know I have a tendency to go on tangents, so I will try to keep the information relevant to my trip to Africa. Yeah. So, whoop. right now we are in Shinagawa, which is where the, hmm, I think there's like different names for these kind of doctors, like some people call them travel doctors, some people call them tropics doctors, so yeah, we're heading there. I actually should have started this blogging process a little earlier, <laughs> I realized. When I was getting my yellow fever vaccination, that was like the first real thing I had to do for Africa. I did that maybe like two months ago. And that was a pain in the butt because there's not very many clinics that offer it. And there's only specific times you can go and get it. And not to mention it was super expensive. And the shot I have to get today is also really expensive but I plan on staying healthy while I'm in Africa. So that's what's happening. Um, yeah. Okay, that's it for now. Bye. So here's the building we're going into. Exciting. I gotta tell you, vlogging is actually kind of difficult. So I'm not really sure. Should you guys be seeing me? Should you be seeing the surroundings? Not to mention it's very embarrassing because you're kind of walking and talking to yourself and other people are looking at you like you're strange. Which was one of the reasons why I stopped doing my travel vlogs outside because I would always feel very embarrassed and people looking at me weird. Yeah, but. I did promise I was going to do this for my subscribers who donated, which by the way is still going on, so if you still want to donate, please do. I will leave the link underneath this video. Yeah. Okay. YouTube, so <clears throat> I just got my final shot. Yay! It was for meningitis. It was actually I was actually told it was optional, but so I got I got two vaccinations and I got malaria pills. The malaria pills were a requirement, and the first vaccination I got was the yellow fever vaccination, and that was also a requirement from the program. But today I went and got a vaccination for meningitis, which is not a requirement from the program. And actually, at the travel clinic, the last time I went to get when I got went to go get the malaria pills, they told me I'm not going to a really high risk area. Um, but at the same time, the doctor that I saw, he was like, "You're not in a high risk area, but if you do get meningitis, it has a very high fatality rate." So I'm like but doesn't make it sound that optional to me but it was very expensive so the that shot and this cream I'm about to show you guys which I was told would last about 30 days these two things together were $200 and um, the yellow fever shot was $200 the malaria pills because malaria you can't get a vaccination you can only get prophylactics and those were about $200 as well so 
I get, I'm constantly like dazed by how expensive it is to volunteer. I mean, I I'm paying I'm paying for them to place me. I'm paying the program. Then I have to pay for like all these vaccinations. I have to pay for spe like obviously specialty clothes. I have to pay for the flight. Like there's a lot of money going into this just so I can basically work for free. Um, I'm not saying that I don't want to still do it. I'm actually crazy excited about it. I've gotten my placement. This is terrible lighting. I look super horrible. Um, I've gotten my placement. I don't know how to say it, so I will show you guys. I wrote it down. This is the name of my school. Mbuyuni mm -hmm. mm, School. And it's in Oyster Bay in Dar es Salaam. Uh, the program I'm with, they sent me some information about the school. So it's a, it's primary and middle school combined. Um, they, it's kind of vague what they told me. Like I'm, I'm expecting it to be a little chaotic, like it was when I was in Thailand, just because it is a poor country. I'm assuming it's going to be one of those things where some days I show up and all of a sudden there's a class, and the next day I'll show up and there isn't a class. So, um, the one thing I did want to say is originally my plan was that I would make a little care package for all of the students I have and then for everybody who sponsored I would like I don't know, take like a picture or have like a letter included that gave them some information of the people who had sponsored and that way they kind of know which kid is benefiting from them sponsoring or not but uh, the information they gave me for the school is that the school has like 1,600 students and from the way I'm reading the information I was given is I'm not going to be assigned a specific classroom so I'm going to be an assistant English teacher and basically the English the way I'm, the way I'm reading it I mean I, I could be wrong but the way I'm reading the information that I was sent by the project is that English teacher teaches all of the classes so all of the students and they go into he goes like whatever class they're in is the level that they teach and I'll be like shadowing them I'll be like an assistant teacher there for just conversation maybe adding a little more to it that's what it says I don't, I don't really know obviously and um, so obviously I don't have the funds even with the sponsorship to buy like make little care packages for a thousand six hundred kids like it's just not feasible so what I was thinking is for uh, I'm going to make a little competition when I get to the school and for everybody who's sponsored I'll make like for that so like I think at right now I have maybe like 30 sponsors or so I've had and so I would make 30 gift packages and then make a little competition like an English competition at the school and at the end of the time when I'm there like 30 gift packages will be given out and that's how and then that's how I'll assign like the student that you've sponsored I'll take a picture or something like that so that's kind of how I'm thinking I'll do it with the people who've sponsored because there's just no way I can't there's just no way I can finance getting gift packages for that many students so that's kind of what one of my thinking right now and yeah I'm actually very excited I wish it wasn't quite so expensive. I really hope I still get people considering donating. I, I, like I said, I will put the link in there. Yeah. Um, is there anything else in terms of... Yeah, so I start. I officially start on June 12th. Uh, is there anything? Any other updates? Um, I have a little bit over a month left in Japan and I'm just kind of like trying to figure out oh I bought a Tilly hat maybe I, when I get back home I'll show you guys like the malaria pills that I get because it's like this batch of like malaria, malaria pills and yeah is there anything else I got a haircut 
Um, yeah. Okay, so this will be the first blog related to my to my uh, Tanzania trip. As I said, this was kind of something I promised to the people who are sponsored. Um, I'm not going to. I'm still uploading old videos. Those will probably show up as they do. Also, something I have no idea what my internet situation is going to be like in Tanzania. It is very, very possible that you guys will see this video, and then you, you won't see any videos of me in Africa until long after I've left Africa again. Because I was, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to assume that the internet situation there is really terrible. So, um, if you guys don't hear from me, don't think it's like, oh my god, like he totally lied, and it's not true, and it's not happening, or something. Yeah, I want to say thank you again. I've gotten since I've left YouTube, um, I've gotten a lot of really nice and supportive messages. So that's been really nice. However, even though I'm up, still going to upload old videos as I decide I want to, or as I decide I get time to it, which honestly it's not very often, because my last few weeks in Japan are full of like doing fun things and day trips and all that kind of stuff. It's just not a priority to me at all. Um, I also want to remind you guys, this is just going to be a blog. This is just going to be something I want to do for my YouTubers that I have sponsored, that have been helpful in this process. I'm not going to do any videos about opinions, all this kind of stuff. If you guys do have questions about things, I'm always glad to answer them. But I'm not doing any other kind of rants or raves videos anymore. It's, 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 it's this blog, it was promised, I'm doing it. And hopefully it'll be fun for you guys to see it, to see the process. I'll probably do like one or two more while I'm in Japan because I'll probably take you guys along when I finally go shopping for what's going to be included in the little gift packages. And that was weird. That guy was totally like playing with himself on the escalator. And yeah. Am I forgetting anything? Oh yeah. So yeah, and if you guys want, you can go ahead and look up my school. I was actually really nervous, but then I looked up this the school, and that just says Miss. I was about to give you guys the name of the teacher I was going to be with, but I didn't know if that's okay. And yeah, it's in Oyster Bay in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. It looks so cute. It looks like like there's a couple of pictures online. There's a couple of pictures that they sent me when they told when they gave me my assignment. And the school looked so cute, and I was like, oh my god, this looks so like Africa, and like so the way I pictured it would be, so I'm really excited about that. I still don't know where I'm going to be living, which I think is a little bit strange that I know my school, but they haven't really told me where I'm going to be living or anything yet. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of a little bit of a confusing thing. Um, but yeah, that's it. Please, 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 if you feel comfortable, please do donate. Um, there's, there's so many um, auxiliary costs that are added to this that I really did not anticipate or expect and uh, it is for a good cause and it is very helpful and I do appreciate it. Yeah, so hopefully you guys are all doing well and take care.